الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر والله أكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله كثيرا وصلوات ربي وسلامه على أشرف الأنبياء ومن تبعه وبعد أوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله فإن الله تعالى مع المتقين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us once again to have completed the month of Ramadan, the month of Ibadah, the month of Shukr, the month of gaining closeness to Him and forgiveness for our sins. And for this year, I would like us to reflect upon an integral part of Taqwa, an integral part of the framework of application when it comes to being a righteous, upright, moral believer. And that is the component of ash-shukr, gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gratitude generally. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Ya ayyuha nasu abudu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum waladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to worship him just as those who came before us were commanded to worship him so that we may acquire taqwa. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then describes himself and gives us the reason for worshipping him. الَّذِي جَعْلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ فِرَاشًا وَالسَّمَاءَ بِنَاءً وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً The one who has made this earth a place of living and has built the sky above us and has brought down from the sky rain and from the rain brought out fruits and nourishment and sustenance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us to worship Him as a sign of our gratitude for that which Allah has given us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Quran, وَلَئِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you are grateful to Him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you are grateful to Him, He will increase you in that which you are grateful for. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَسَيَجْزِ اللَّهُ الشَّاكِرِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward the people of gratitude. And a person may ask, what is gratitude then? How is it possible that I can be a grateful slave? I want to be a grateful slave. How can I be grateful? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us through His Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam that gratitude is of two types. The first type, gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator and the bestower. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he was praying one night and his feet began to bleed. And Aisha, his wife radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said, Ya Rasulullah, why are you doing this to yourself? And you are forgiven of your mistakes. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, Afala akuna abdan shakura, should I not be a grateful slave? i.e. I am worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala due to my gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from that we learn that to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be grateful. And the scholars of Islam, they mention that gratitude requires worshipping and staying away from sin and acceptance of that which Allah has decreed. The one who is sick accepts his sicknesses from Allah. The one who is healthy accepts his health is from Allah. The one who is wealthy accepts the wealth from Allah. But likewise, the one who is impoverished accepts that the poverty is from Allah. And a step higher than that is to be pleased with the qadr of Allah. The one who is being trialed and afflicted and put to test says, Alhamdulillah, for this trial and this tribulation. Why? Because it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so it's best for me. And the one who is not being put to physical trial to perceived tribulation recognizes that his peace, his tranquility, his security, his safety is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so he's grateful. And so in brief, it is to use that which Allah has given us in a way which is pleasing to him. The one who has been given wealth uses his wealth for Allah's sake. The one who has been given health uses it for Allah's sake. The one who has been given a tongue uses it for Allah's sake and so on and so forth. The second type of gratitude is gratitude to the people. The Prophet alayhi salatu salam, he said, Man la yashkuru nas la yashkuru Allah. The one who is not grateful to the people is not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the Prophet alayhi salam is telling us directly that we should be grateful to those who 
give something to us, do something for us. Be grateful to those that offer something to us that is of benefit to us. And the best way to show gratitude is to repay that person with something in recompense for that which they have given. And at the very least, a dua, to make dua for the person. And so we are to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be grateful to the people. And some of these scholars, they say that the person who is not grateful to the people, this person is not capable of being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because he does not have a grateful heart. He's unable to see that which he should be grateful to from the people. Therefore, he will be unable to see that which he should be grateful for to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so after Ramadan, I would like us to reflect over that which we should be grateful for. Spend time in reflecting over the blessings given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Spend time reflecting over that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept away from us. And this will naturally bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This will lead us to want to worship Him and to give that which we have been given back to Him by using it for His sake. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ورسائل المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد gratitude to Allah سبحانه وتعالى and gratitude to the people. That was the way of the Prophet And that should be the way of us as believers. When we look at what's taking place in the world today, we look at what's been happening and is happening to our brothers and sisters in Palestine and all around the Muslim world, not only Palestine, but Palestine is of course, close to the heart of every single Muslim because of Al-Quds. When we look at what's happening and we ask, how can we do something? What is it that we can do? Perhaps some of us feel helpless. The best way to help is to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessings He's bestowed upon us. How so? By using them for His sake. Being people of sacrifice. Those who sacrifice that which has been given to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake. Our time, our wealth, our effort, our health, our strength, anything that we have for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the people of shukr, the people of gratitude. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase that which he has blessed us with and to allow us to see and perceive the blessings that we should be grateful for. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidu majid warda Allahumma an Abi Bakr wa an Umar wa an Uthman wa an Ali wa an sa'ari sahabati ajma'in Allahumma ja'alna min al-shakirin laka ya rabbil alameen Allahumma urzuqna al-shukra ya rabbil alameen Allahumma ahyina muslimin wa amitna muslimin wa alhiqna bil-salihin Allahumma unsur al-islam wa al-muslimin Allahumma unsur ikhwanana fi Falastin Allahumma unsurhum nasram wa azzaran ya rabbil alameen Allahumma عليك بالظالمين اللهم خذهم فإنهم لا يعجزونك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته